you can sit on a chair you can sit cross-legged you can sit full lotus if you wish it's up to you what is important is if you can I suggest you not to have anything at your back to really sit straight without far from a wall let's say so you don't you don't um, place your back on something now if this is possible otherwise if you need go go for it what happened is if we um, rest our back somewhere the chance that we might feel sleepy during the meditation it's higher so I suggest you if you can do not rest your back the posture of the meditation with a lined spine if you are sitting on the floor and if you're doing a meditation if you're not used to that you can have a cushion or a couple of cushions that helps you to sit with your spine straight because for a lot of people the spine it's it's not flexible enough to be straight not for a long time so we want to the spine is straight but we don't, we don't want to feel the, the pain of maintaining that posture if you're feeling that you can put a, bol a bolster or a couple of cushions below uh, your your buttocks and then this will help you or you can sit in a chair as well and if you sit in a chair you can just place your your feet on the ground keep your spine straight now one thing that we use a lot in um, well every time that we meditate in Kundalini Yoga is what we call the neck lock the neck lock is let me get sideways to show you we bring the chin in towards the back of the skull and it's level to the floor it's not down it's not up it's level and in what this happens when you have this posture is you have a nice straight line between your spine and between your neck you don't need to force too much just a light uh, bringing your chin lightly towards the back of the skull so so far we've seen sitting on the chair or on the floor spine straight and the the neck lock the chin in and this posture is the base for all the meditations sometimes we might have our arms in certain position or we might breathe in a different way that makes our spine move but that is um, different types of meditation for the base I always bring this alignment of the spine this is static alignment of the spine combined with the neck lock during the meditation it's common that you start perhaps you feel some types of your body to tan to start to get tense like your shoulders for example if you notice that calmly with a calm mind always from a place of curiosity and self-compassion not from a place of judgment and calm let it go slowly any movement that you might need to do in order to adjust your posture during the meditation we want to make it soft and with awareness because the meditation is such a, a soft and subtle activity where our entire system starts to calm down it starts to work in a different way that it's used to and if you have abrupt movements in the middle of the meditation it will disrupt and it takes it's something that takes time to build up it takes time to build sometimes that place where we're feeling very present and calm in the meditation sometimes this not have this will this won't happen but when it does it takes a little bit of time it's not something that happens straight away normally it doesn't happen straight away so when we have something that ugh, a shock for the body or for the mind and then we have to build again with softness now we talked about posture neck lock and movement 
adjust, adjustment of the movement. One thing that it's important to grasp, and it is one of the major things, if you could take anything from this video, this, this is the thing, is when we sit to meditate, we want to be detached from this result. Meaning, if I'm doing a meditation because I'm too anxious, if I keep thinking, I don't wanna be anxious, I don't wanna be anxious, I want this to work fast, it's just gonna aggravate the situation. We want to detach from the results. It's something that might be tricky to do at the beginning, but with the focus there, you will naturally start detaching from the, from the results. For example, I'm, I'm focusing on the breath. I start to focus on the breath, focus on the breath, and then I notice my mind goes to the anxiety, and my mind goes to what I have to do next, or what I did in the past, or every time I catch myself thinking about something, I gently bring it back to the present. So the outcome will happen if we detach ourselves from it. It's like a paradox, <laughs> I don't know. But the reality is the more attached you are to the results, the less efficient will be a meditation, the, the, the less um, benefits you're gonna get from the meditation, let's say. Let's talk about how we breathe. What is the focus? What am I gonna do in this meditation? You might be asking, right? Come on, tell me. <laughs> this, is a, this is the anxious mind. Tell me everything. I want to know. If you don't know the basics, there's no point for me to tell you what is the, the final form of the meditation. You need to understand the basics. And this video is aimed for you that never done meditation before i've done it and you didn't really get into it this is your chances but just really pay attention in what i'm saying here because they are the basics for to have a good experience with meditation now in this meditation we will breathe and we will focus our eye gaze as well and have the hands in a position the the position of the hands is what we call the gyan mudra which is index touching thumbs. It's like this. It doesn't need to be contracted. It can be relaxed. And you just place it on your lap, place it on your knees, and relax the shoulders down. With the eye gaze, we want to look up and in towards the brow point, or as we call, also the third eye point when we focus the eye gaze there we are stimulating the major glands of our hormonal system it helps us to keep the focus and help us to have a deeper experience in our meditation if you notice this is uncomfortable for you you don't need to over strain your eyes we want to be, we want to be soft here with practice, your optical nerve, let's say, it, it becomes more elastic. You have the ability to look up and in without hurting your eyes. But if you do that and it hurts, you can just have the intention or just lightly, even though you might not be able to fully focus on this part. We don't wanna hurt ourselves. We want to work with what we have here with the limitations of the body because it's an experience that we want to make it easy for us. Look up and in with your eyes closed. Every time during the meditation, any time during the meditation that you notice you were thinking about something and this most likely will happen, it happens to me all the time. When I catch my eye like looking around, you gently soft bring the eye gaze back to this point we will focus here on our breath although as you notice it's a lot of different components whenever you feel one of these components are it is out of balance out of shape gently bring it back as you started the meditation this is the meditation itself 